हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आइडेंटिफाइड द कॉमन बग वी अंडरस्टूड द रीजन व्हाई व्हाई दैट बग इज देयर इन द प्रोग्राम नाउ वी नीड टू गो फॉर द सॉल्यूशन हाउ वी कैन गो फॉर द सॉल्यूशन नाउ why why the records are not coming in the output because we have written the append statement to insert the data to final internal table inside this second loop now if the record is not in the item table this loop statement will be failed and record will not go to final internal table it means the append part yes it should be somewhere else or i will say it should be at some additional place also now what i will do now from the header table we are going for four column data order number order date payment mode and currency suppose i will copy this and i will put these four column data outside this inner loop i am not putting this so i am just passing that data of these four column i put that data of these four column outside the inner loop also now i am writing append statement append work area to internal table so i have written the logic to insert the data to final internal table for the header header data of four columns outside the inner loop also i am clearing the work area lwa underscore final now now we have written the logic outside the inner loop also now this logic again has a problem just understand how this logic will work suppose we will go for a scenario in which order number is in the header table but it is not in the item table i will show you in the debugging mode so that you can understand fully then we will go for what is the problem with this logic suppose i will put a breakpoint i am suppose going for order number 6 or 7 the order number 6 and 7 is not not in the item table now how it will work now in this internal table we have two records order number 6 and 7 now inside the inner internal table zero records because 6 and 7 is not in the item table now order number 6 moved to work area now this inner loop is failed failed because this inner internal table has zero records so this inner loop failed so our logic executed and we put the data to final internal table have you seen in the final internal table we have the data of four column yes item data will be blank because it is not in the item table now again it will go to outer loop now in the outer loop now second record will go to work area now order number 7 is not in the item table now order numbers this inner loop failed and again our logic is executing and this internal table has two records order item number and item cost is blank and this is the 
एक्सपेक्टेड रिजल्ट विच कस्टमर वॉट बट द थिंग इज वी पुट ओनली दो रिकॉर्ड विच इज नॉ विच इज इन दैडर बट नॉट इन द आइटम सो इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन दिस लॉजिक डिड नॉट ट्रिगर and we appended that data to final internal table now this logic has again problem suppose i am going for order number suppose 1 and 6 suppose i will go for order number 1 i will go for order number 6 i will execute order number 1 is in both the tables Order number six is in the header table. Now, firstly, order number one. Suppose if I will go for this internal table, order number one will go to first work area. So yes, in this work area we have order number one. Now, inside the inner loop. we have three records of order number 1 anyways order number 6 is not there so one will match with one whenever input is on the right hand side it will check into this internal table one will match with one yes one will match with one so yes first record appended to final internal table so in this final internal table we have the order number 1 now inner loop will continue three times because we have three records for the order number 1 now second iteration so second record we append it to final internal table you can see we have second record in the final internal table now we will move on to third record so third record appended to final internal table so up to this level it is perfectly fine now inner loop done now this inner loop done but now this logic will execute and it will append the fourth record also to the internal table now whenever this logic will execute have you seen in this internal table we have now four records for the order number 1 that is totally wrong totally wrong now suppose i will go for next thing so this record came extra now we will proceed now control going to outer loop so first record processed now it's a turn for the order number 6 now order number 6 is not in the item table so this loop will not execute and yes this will execute and it is perfectly fine now customer will say okay why this record is coming extra order number 1 is in both the tables and we got the expected result why why this is triggering so you can understand here itself if this is triggering it should not trigger if this is not triggering it should trigger just this is a common understanding if the record is in the item table anyways we are appending so it should not execute if the record is not in the item table it means it will not execute then it should execute it means at a time only one should execute and our solution will be there so how how i will achieve this i'll just take a flag suppose if control is going inside this loop i will simply simply put a flag suppose i will write lv underscore flag is equal to capital x you can give any value suppose if the record is in the item table 
if inner loop is executing, I put a flag to capital X. If this loop executed, it means data appended, data appended. It means it should not execute. So this flag is capital X. So what I will write here, if LV underscore flag is equal to space. Now I will write and if. Now what I did, if this inner loop will execute, this flag will be capital X. It means data is appended. If data is appended, this particular flag will be X. It means this if condition is false, it will not execute at all. Now, if the record is not in the item table, suppose record is not in the item table, it means this loop will not execute. If this loop will not execute, LB underscore flag will be space. It means this logic will execute. This is what we require. But never, never forget to clear the flag because otherwise what will happen? One time it will set to X. So it will always, always remain X only. So what you can do at the last, do not forget to clear the flag. Extremely, extremely important logic from the project perspective and most, most common mistake. And without debugging, we will not be able to reach to the solution. Suppose I'm declaring this flag. Suppose I will write Boolean. Boolean means it will be true or false. And you all know capital X means True space means false. And Boolean is a data type itself. If I will double click, yes, you can see it is a data element. Data element has a domain. And in that domain, it is clearly mentioned X true and space is equal to false. You can go for character one also. It's totally your wish. Because anyways, we are passing X and space. Now we will see is our logic is perfectly fine or not. I'll put a breakpoint and we will understand full in the debugging mode. I will run. Suppose I will go for order number one also, order number six also. One is in both the tables, one is only only in the header table. I will go to execute. I'll go to desktop three. Now you can see this outer internal table, two records, inner internal table, three records only for order number one. Firstly, order number one is in the work area. This record went to work area. It will check into this internal table do we have order number one? Yes, we have order number one. So it will go one by one three times. And yes, first record. Now first record is going to internal table, final internal table. Second record. And now we have third record. So all three records appended to final internal table. Now, we set the flag to capital X inside this loop. It means this if condition is failed. If this if condition is failed, yes, this logic is not executing and this is what we want. And now you can understand the importance of clearing the flag also. If I will not clear, it will always remain X. Whenever it will always remain X, it will never, never execute. Now I will go to next. Control will go to outer loop now. Now order number six 
from the internal table gone to the work area. Inner loop failed. Now when inner loop failed, flag is not set to X. Now flag is space. And you can see we appended that data to final internal table. And this is our expected result. And you can see now we have the expected result. You can check various permutation combination. Suppose I will go for order number one to seven directly. One to seven. It means all will come in the output. If I will delete the breakpoint, you can see order number one to seven, everything is coming. For six and seven, item data is blank. This is what customer want and most, most important logic, most important common bug finding, most important solution from the project perspective. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we find the, we have written the logic, how we can resolve the issue. So what we did, we have written the logic to append that data to final internal table outside the inner loop. But in that case, what happened? If the record is in header, it is not in item, it is perfectly fine. But if the record is in both, we are getting duplicate records in the output. So what we did, we took a flag, we passed the flag to capital X, if it is in the item table, and yes, we are checking if flag is space, then only in that case, it will go for the appending the data, appending the header data to final internal table. And do not forget to clear the flag in the next videos. Why, why we are covering this? Because it is a base for the join, join. Now, in the next videos, we will go for join, how we can write the joins in case of how we can write the join, how we can write the queries using join. So that's it in this video. Thank you.